hi friends welcome to my channel so today in this new video i'm going to share some information of duolingo what is duolingo and how does duolingo works duolingo is a laid out like a game and has a visually appealing interface the game is set up as a tree that you most slowly work through when you get to the end you will get a cute little trophy wearing a flag that represents the language you are learning each node in the tree consists of several lessons. Each lesson is a level that you must beat by answering questions until the bar fills up with correct answer bringing the bar up and incorrect one bringing it down. The types of questions include free translation, putting together a translation with the set of given words, speaking exercise, listing transcription and picture matching. When you complete a node, it will turn golden and you will receive some, num some number of games currency which can be used to purchase various bonuses such as customer costumes for the you, the all bonus lesson like flitting and items and other fun things. The next row in the tree will also open up for you to do further lessons. Every node that you have learned will decay at a certain rate and will turn to a normal color again, meaning that the game is urging you to review that lesson. You can also use the practice speak skill button at the bottom of the game for it to draw from a few random lessons. You may also refresh several nodes from one level. Likes like Rosita Stone, Duolingo will not teach you grammar lesson which can be fun if you like to figure out the grammar of the language through a puzzle or frustrating if you just cannot figure out how some time works let locally if you if that's the case you can go on website to see mini grammar lesson for each node or just check online for a specific issue you are looking for for example, Duolingo Spanish has a lesson on two words meaning to be, sir and Esther. You can read about the difference in the lesson on the website or just search what is the difference between sir and Esther on Google. So here are the cons and pros. Cause it, its speech recognition software has a long way to go. This cause is minor since you should not to be depending on an app to get you to the natural speaking level. With human, however, note that the speech recognition task can be frustrating sometimes. You might say nothing to all or not even complete your sentence and the device will mark you correct. But often you will be saying a sentence close to how it sounds and the game will keep telling you that you were not saying I tried. If this happens, often just turn the speaking inside off because the speech recognition tool does not actually give any real feedback. What you should do is repeat every sentence out loud yourself or tasks that given you are even depend on net speaker. Keeping up with constantly decaying skills can feel discouraging. The game has algorithm that decays each skills over time. Each time you strengthen the skill, the time before it decays again will increase. So for example, if your skill decay after one day, once you refresh it, it might decay again after two days. Some of the translations are iffy. You will run into a lot of useless R by Z sentences in the game whose sole point is to illustrate the uses of a grammar point or vocabulary item. Don't take Duolingo to be an exemplar of natural language. If you are serious about learning language, this is the most important thing remember about Duolingo. It will not get you fluency. But it will get you to a basic level where you should be able to where is grammatical construction at the back of your mind to construct simple sentences. Your reading level should be fairly decent since Duolingo provides a variety of grammar and vocabulary. But if you are learning a foreign language too professionally, you should supplement Duolingo with a language course or practice with a native speaker.